What's going on everyone? It's Thomas DeLauer here with Dr. Decker Weiss. We're here with Jigsaw Health and today we're talking about the thyroid. Yeah. And we want to talk about what the two main things that you can start paying attention to when it comes to your thyroid and when it comes to starting to boost it, not just from an autoimmune side, but more so just from the gland in general. Yeah, and I think if there's two main things, one is stop poisoning it. So really the gluten products, and, and we've talked some about gluten in the past, but if there's a specific reason to go off of gluten products, it's that you're gaining weight, you feel sluggish, you're losing your hair, you're feeling cold, all those thyroid symptoms. Gluten is very antagonistic to thyroid and you can't expect to have a healthy thyroid or recover from any thyroid problem eating gluten. The other thing is mineral dense foods, including high iodine. We use the wrong salt, we eat iceberg lettuce, and we wonder why our thyroid's a problem. Dark leafy greens and using a salt much higher in iodine, which is natural. Not the white salt that's mined and a little bit of iodine added, yeah. but you know a good salt. And then your thyroid has a shot and it can recover. This idea that all of a sudden you have to be on thyroid. No, 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 when you replace it and maybe ease your stress back and cut down to maybe one coffee a day, they can absolutely recover. And I've heard before that having uh, seaweed, things like that are really mm -hmm. high in iodine. What exactly, is it just because it's coming from sort of an unadulterated soil underwater that essentially hasn't been deplenished of its, its minerals, is that what it is? Well, plants in general are more bioavailable. Mm -hmm. So when you take mineral-based iodine, there's sort of two or three different types of iodine. There's potassium iodine and sodium iodide, and then what we call elemental, which is just I2. The stuff in seaweeds and stuff is very, very bioavailable, and I can't, I'm pretty sure it's the potassium iodide form, but the way that it absorbs and breaks down in the body and the slowness at which fiber moves through you allows the gotcha. system to pull it through. So it's just much more bioavailable. Gotcha. And you're speaking about demineralization. What are some other minerals like you know magnesium, things like that, that we can focus on to help our thyroids out? Well, you sort of have the big ones, the calcium, the magnesium, so the one we recognize. And then you get the ones that silently are causing problems. Chromium, you see our soil is about 3,000% less chromium than it was just 100 years ago and we're seeing diabetes go up. Yep. Now, there's not exact correlation, all that sugar didn't help us, <laughs> but it's part of it. Manganese, and that's related to a lot of neurotransmitter function, that goes down. Um, and, and then you have these host of trace minerals, which we need, which we're not getting. You don't get it in the processed foods and stuff like that. And you need a bunch of those different trace minerals. And so with it, we're discovering problems that we never did before, because we don't even know what all these mineral deficiencies are gonna mean. Gotcha. So for those that are watching, what are the two things that you would recommend someone that thinks they potentially have hypothyroidism and uh -huh. maybe haven't gone to the doctor yet, they're just trying to have a healthy thyroid? What are two things that they can do? Well, number one, take the grains out of your diet. Give your okay. body an opportunity to recover. You know, not everybody's completely gluten intolerant, but your thyroid can't recover. And if you think you have a thyroid problem, you probably do. <laughs> you honestly probably do. And, and thyroid labs aren't magic. They can completely miss it. Look more for those symptoms of weight and fatigue and hair loss and feeling cold and constipation. Uh, the other thing is just start getting a good scoop of greens and a really good salt and start doing that greens twice a day, salting your food properly. Yeah, I'm a cardiologist, salt your food. Not with white salt, but with a river bottom looking salt. You know, a, a pink salt, a gray salt, not a white salt. We could have an entirely separate video <laughs> just on that. So. Well, uh, Dr. Decker Weiss, thank you so much for uh -huh. coming on the Jigsaw Show. And as always, keep it locked in here with Jigsaw Health. We'll see you in the next video.